The 30th anniversary of the Christmas Fantasy House held earlier this month was truly magical. More than 4,100 people toured the beautifully decorated home in Delafield, raising over $100,000 for the Ronald McDonald House Charities of Eastern Wisconsin. As Amanda Becker discovered, among the visitors were a mother and daughter who know firsthand how this fantasy house is comforting families in their time of need. Happy holidays. The holidays often put life's important things and people in focus. Of Grandpa. <laughs> oh, yes, absolutely. He would love that. Is it something in the garland and twinkle lights that makes the heart swell during the Christmas season? I'd love to give you this gift and to give you this crown for every time that you're going through your surgeries, just to remind you of how strong and how special you are and that you are the true queen. Thank, so, you. thank you. The organizers of the Christmas Fantasy House like to believe there is a little bit of Christmas magic in all the holiday decor. Connie Walters has been volunteering with the Christmas Fantasy House for 16 years, and that's about how long the fundraiser has been donating to benefit the Ronald McDonald House. Seeing the kids, yeah. Have you guys ever been there? No. It's cool. I mean, it's, it's so beautiful. But to know that, um, you know, that we were a part of helping to build, you know, to expand that place. You know, it, it's got, um, from 2014, when we first started with Ronald McDonald House, to now, they have a whole two wings. They have two expansions. Each year, a family in southeast Wisconsin gives up their house for a month in November, and it's decorated from top to bottom. The Christmas Fantasy House offers joy to the people who walk through, and the support from the Christmas Fantasy House enables us to provide joyful moments for the families that we care for. From the kitchen island to the showers, filled with Christmas joy. We start in February. We take January off. That is it. This year's donor was Laura Swan's family in Delafield. A former Mrs. Wisconsin, it was a special moment to see her give her crown to a special visitor. I've been staying at the Ronald McDonald House with Lily since she was 45 days old. That's when she had her first open heart surgery. And it has been quite a trip. All of the proceeds from people touring the Christmas Fantasy House or buying something in the gift shop go directly to the Ronald McDonald House. It helps ease the burden on families like the Hawks. The Hawks family has been using the Ronald McDonald House on and off for 13 years. To take that time off of work and time away from family, it, it's a struggle. And we are so thankful to have an orga organization like this that has our back and, and takes excellent care of us. We wouldn't have been able to do this without the Ronald McDonald House. She remembers the days of staying in the hospital with her daughter before the Ronald McDonald House. You have maybe a chair that reclines back, not so comfortable, you're there for days on end. Um, there's really no place to shower, um, no place to eat unless you go to the cafeteria. And the two hour long drives to go home and refuel. Stressful, it can get very lonely. Um, you're thinking of everything that needs to be done, but you're in one spot. When you're at the Ronald McDonald House, you have room to walk, think, breathe. Um, you don't really get that in a hospital setting. Sarah Hawks and her daughter stopped at this year's Christmas Fantasy House on their way home to the Fox Cities. We are leaving the hospital in Ronald McDonald House today for the first time in a long time to be able to go back home and spend some holiday time with the family. Sarah's daughter Lillian will have surgeries for the rest of her life because of the anomaly in her heart. Okay, Lillian, um, I'm so glad that I get to meet you today, that you came to my house. This year, 650 volunteers got in the holiday spirit to help make sure the lights went on at the Christmas Fantasy House. This is such a great gift to our family. I can't even.